All right, Shalawam, another GMS on the go, collaboration, GMS successful. You know what I'm saying? Mission successful, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakak Wadash. Next double honor to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims, man, pushing this Bible week in and week out, regardless of people here for a bear. You know what I'm saying? The brother, you know what I'm saying? The quam, you know what I'm saying? I'm the brother Hawaii, you know what I'm saying? He wanted to do a lesson through the spirit, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we're going to get into it. What's the name of it, bro? Uh, have faith in what you pray for. You know? That's what the title of this lesson is called, through the spirit, by Yahweh, by Shemir, by Shemir, by Shemir, by Shemir, by You know what I'm saying? You know? And the first question we're going to start with is uh, James, the first chapter in the fifth verse. Yeah, because you got, you got Jake. I'm going to just chime in right quick, bro, because you got Negroes, okay. Latinos, and Native Americans. They pray to the Lord, but then they don't really have faith in what they're praying for, man. Their, their, right. faith, their, their faith wavers. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Lord, I pray for this, I pray for that, but I don't really think you're going to really give it to me. That's, that's that doubt demon right there, man. You can't pray like that, man. You got to know, you know what I'm saying, through faith that you, when you pray to your house by Shemuel Shai, you're going to know that your prayers are going to be answered, man. But you look, you got to be doing your part too, though. To even yeah, be thinking right. about praying for anything, you got to make sure you're doing your part, though, according to the scriptures, you know? But what you want yeah. the first, bro? Uh, James, the first chapter, yeah. the first verse. Yep. And they're right. And these videos that we make is only for the elect, you know what I'm saying, of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. So you can pretty much look at this video as an, an exhortation. Right. You know, a reminder of uh, not, you know what I'm saying, doubt to them when you're, when you're praying, you know what I'm saying, no matter how much them demons get on you, you know what I'm saying, try to get it into your head, you know? That's right, bro. So whenever you, yeah. Whenever you, you start. All right. Um, I, got, I got something right quick. This is, um... Oh. This is Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime or written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. And the reason why I brought that out because the scriptures that we're getting ready to go into, all of it was written for our learning. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So now we're going into the scriptures that we need to pray for, for prayer. You know what I'm saying? But we need to have faith in the things that we pray for. So all that was written for our learning that we'll have um, comfort of the scriptures. You know, the scriptures, right. the scriptures is what gives us hope. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures yep. teaches us what to pray for. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So this is um, James 1 and what 5, right? Yep. James chapter 1 verse 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High. Right. Now you know it's talking about. It's talking about the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. That confusion that faces, man. Because you're the only ones that can pray to y'all by seeing y'all shot, man. You know, because you're the only people that the Lord is dealing with. He, he, he chose you, man. You know, so you're the chosen people of Yahweh by Shemar Shah. So if any of you like wisdom, you know what I'm saying, you know, ask the Yahweh by Shemar Shah to increase it, man. Right. You know, or anything that you're, uh, that you're uh, slacking in, you know, ask Yahweh by Shemar Shah to, you know, improve it. Right. You know what I'm saying, you know. And when you're asking yeah. somebody for something, that means you're praying yeah. to them. And the word pray goes back to the word beg. So you're begging your how about Shemir Shah for more wisdom. You're begging your how about Shemir Shah for more strength, more brotherly right. love, more faith, more fear, more courage. You know what I'm saying? And you're doing it all through faith, you know? Which the scriptures right. getting ready to go into. And look, and then when it says ask of the most high, meaning you gotta use the proper correct names, man, in the Hebrew tongue. You can't yep. say you can't say um, um big man in the sky. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I pray for him. Nah, man. You know. Oh, God, I, no, that's just titles, man. They actually have proper names in the Hebrew tongue, man. Yahweh, who they ignorantly call God, and Yahweh Shai, who they ignorantly call Jesus Christ, man. When, when you're lacking anything, you got to pray to them for it, you know? That's right. So once again, James chapter 1, verse 5, if any of you lack wisdom, not the wisdom of this world either, it's talking about the yeah. knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the Bible, let him ask of the Most High, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that give it unto all men liberally. Right, it's talking about the Israelite man, you know? Because that's the only people that the Lord is dealing with. Right. Because Yahweh by Shema is going to give it to you, man. That's right. right? So, but you got to have faith that Yahweh by Shema is going to give it to you, though. Know? And like Big Bro is going into you, you have to do your part as well. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't sit on it. You got you to gotta put in some work, man. Right. You know? You got to go, you got you to gotta meet him, man. Right. You know? 
And then it said liberally, that means freely. Yeah. Said the most high is gonna give it to you free. How do we pay the most high back with our time, man? Putting time in, you know what I'm saying, getting into this word, studying, researching, hitting the highways and byways. That's how we pay the God of the Bible back for all this knowledge that He has given us, bro. Cause, Cause it's a right. gift. It's a gift. This knowledge is a gift, man. He ain't give right. this gift to everybody, man. He only gave it to the elect and Lord wanna be part of that, you know what I'm saying? Right. It says, um, they give it to all men liberally. You want to say something? They give it to all men liberally and upbraid if not. The most high ain't gonna hold nothing back from you, man. You want the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, and you praying for it in faith, he's not gonna hold nothing back from you, man. You know? Look, you have about Shemia Shah is not the so-called white man. You know? He's not he's not Esau. Esau, you ask Esau for something, Esau ain't giving it to you, man. You know? And if Esau do give it to you, you gotta do a wicked sacrifice just to get it, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to do something wicked just to get it, right, bro? That's right. You want you want Yahweh by Shemel Shai to bless you with a gift, you got to do something righteous. Yeah. That's, that's a wonderful thing, you know what I'm saying? It says, um, it says, and upbraid if it not, and it shall be given him. Right. So if you pray for more wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, man, you know what I'm saying? Pray for spiritual things, not carnal things. Right. Spiritual things. Man, you know, it's going to be given to you, man. That's right. It's time, though. You know right. what I'm saying? You might have to, you know what I'm saying, keep praying, you know what I'm saying, for him to give it to you to show that you really want it. Right. You know what I'm saying? You have to pray for it, you know? I, I got a priest. Like big brother said, man, this, this, uh, this wisdom knowledge, understanding these scriptures, is a gift, man. Right. This is precious, right? This is better than uh, uh, rubies and rubies, man. Yeah. You know? Yep. So this truth, this word right here is precious, man. This is something that you have to work for. That's in right. Order for you to earn it, man. Right. You know? That's right. Yeah, this word is precious. <laughs> this word is precious, man. It's more precious than anything that can be desired on the face of the earth, bro. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's why when you ask for it, you gotta ask for it in faith, as the scriptures are gonna say. But I got a precept for you though, bro. This is look, this look, bro, this say this sums up everything, bro. We can really end the lesson off with this, but we're gonna keep it moving though. You know what I'm saying? This look, this St. John chapter 14, verse 14. It's written in red as Lord Yahweh Shah, who the English called Jesus Christ, right? This is what he said, bro. St. John chapter 14, verse 14. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Uh-oh. See, see, what did it say, big bro? Did it say the name? Right. St. John chapter 14, verse 14. If ye shall ask anything in my name. Uh oh, uh oh, they know the name. Right. Yahweh Shah, you gotta know the name, man. That's right. Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah. Right. Ask anything in the name of Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah. Right. I will do it. See, he's gonna do it, man. You have to have faith that he's going to do that, man. Right. You know, it's something that you have to continually to beg for, man. Because like the big boys going into the spirit of Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, praying was back to the word begging, man. Yep. We have to beg, man. That's because, right. You know, because we gotta remember, we messed up, man. Right. We messed up. So he gave us this truth back out of mercy, man. That's right. You know? So we have to beg Yahweh by Shema and Shah to uh, keep on increasing us in his wisdom, lives and understanding and keep us in this truth, man. You know? That's right, bro. That we have to beg for, you know? That's right. So going right back so, to, um, going right back to that John, that, I mean that James, Salakia, I'm going to finish that off. Um, James chapter 1, Verse 6 now. But let him ask in faith. Right. In faith, man. And we already know what faith is according to the scriptures, according to Hebrews, the 11th chapter, in the first verse. You know what I'm saying? It's faith is up to the things hoped for, man. And there's the things not seen. Well, I got... So we pray for more hope. Nah, nah, I was just, nah, just going to say, we know what it is, but a person might be watching this video for the first time. They don't know what it is. So I'm going to just prove it according to the Bible what faith is. Because, of course, we know what it is. Know what I'm saying? But the people, you know what I'm saying, is watching this video for the first time, they might not know. So we got to prove it according to the Bible. You know what I'm saying, bro? God, this, God. this Hebrews chapter 11, I'm going to read one and then I'm going to jump down to six. Hebrews God. chapter one, Hebrews, like in Hebrews chapter 11, verse six, I'm kind of hyped right about now. Hebrews <laughs> chapter 11, verse one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Right, so this is the definition of the word faith, man. Things that's hoped for, things that's not seen, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Can't see Lord Yahushua, can't see the angels. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you have faith in it, man. Right. You know this the total thing, this ministry of ours, man, it's, it's, it's about faith, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You know? 
that's what this this is this is what it's all about, man. Right. Have that faith for you, how about shooting out a shot, man? That's yeah. right. Believing in the things that you don't see. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You can't see faith, but you pray for it. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You know, and That's we right. got it. Just like you can't see the air, but you feel it, right? You know it's there because you feel it. You don't see it though, but you sure enough feel it, right? That's right. So, so that, so that's what faith is to believe in something that you don't see, man. Okay. Yep, that's right. And jumping down to verse six, um, Hebrews chapter eleven, verse six. But without faith, because the name of this lesson is called "Have Faith in What You Pray For." Right. But, but without faith, it is impossible to please Him. And please see the Lord, man. How about you, my shot? See, without having faith in what you're praying for and what you're asking for, man, you know, it is impossible to please you. How about you, my shot, man? Right. Because then you're doubting, man. Yep. You know? If you don't have that faith in what you're praying for, then you're doubting, yep. wavering, man. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to please you. How about you, my shot, with that type of mindset. Right. You know? So without faith, you know what I'm saying? It's impossible to please you. How about you, my shot, you know? Right. Meaning, meaning you're not a true believer either. You know what I'm saying? Right. If you don't got faith in the scripture, you, you truly don't believe, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. I believe right. in the Lord. I believe in the Lord. You ain't got no faith in the Lord, though. You know what I'm saying? So that makes That's you right. a non-believer, man. Because it said you can't even please the God of the Bible without having faith in those names, man. Yeah. Well, look, we was given the gift of faith, bro, to even believe in the names of your but Shimei Shai. You know? You can't beat that, bro. You can't put a price on that, brother. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Can't put a price on that. It says, um, for he that cometh to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweshai, must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And that's something that you have to have faith in, man. Right. Knowing that Yahweh Bashim Yahweshai is, he is the one that, that increases your wisdom and knowledge, understanding these scriptures, man. Right. You pray for him and have faith in him. Right. He is a rewarder of them that digitally seek him, man. Right. Attempt to find him. Attempt to get closer to him, man. Right. You know? You know what I'm saying? Getting closer to Yah by Shimon Shah, which by, is by praying. Right. You know what I'm saying? To have that faith in what you're praying for. You know? He's going to reward you, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? He's going to reward you, you know? That's right. Asking for more wisdom and knowledge and understanding these scriptures, man. More strength, more courage, more fear. Right. You know what I'm more faith. You know what I'm Look, saying? Hey, more more prayer. Look, more prayer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause you most definitely gotta um, constantly pray for more prayer. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Cause you can't be if you're not praying to you have by Shemuel Shai, you're not being heard, bro. You know what I'm That's saying? Right. You're not being heard, man. That's right. It says um so going right back Hebrews chapter um James Salakia James chapter one verse six again the whole thing but let him ask in faith nothing wavering. Right, which means doubting, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Supposed to uh, ask your faith, man. You're not supposed to be, I know what I'm saying, praying to you, I'll buy you my shot in the back of your mind, your dollar. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, you can't do that, man. That's right. It says, um, for he that waveth, waveth, wavereth, is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. You know what I'm saying? That's what he be, bro. Right. So, if you're asking your how about Shimia Rashad for something, but you, you really don't believe, you saw the waves, you know what I'm saying, get tossed to and fro, back and forth, back and forth. That's how you are, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, what it's saying? It's going to say a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. You know what I'm right. saying? So if you're going to pray to your how about Shemiah Rashad, you got to know that your prayers are going to be answered, man. And that all comes through faith, man. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Can't waver, man. Being, wavering right. is like you being tossed to and fro, man, that sea, man. You know how, you know how heavy them, them waves get broke? Them waves are tossed you, <laughs> shit, them waves will put something on you, man. You know? <laughs> it says, um, for let for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? So a man just wavering when he's praying to you how about Shimmy Shai, don't think that the Lord is gonna hear that man. That man ain't gonna receive nothing from you how about Shimmy Shai, because he really don't have faith that the God of the Bible can answer his prayers, bro. And and, and, right. it, and what I quoted was the next scripture, verse eight. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. And I ain't even looked down and know that was going to be there, bro. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? I just happened to look down, and there it was, right after I quoted it, bro. I ain't know that was down there. You know? That's a spirit, though, you know? So the, so the scriptures say, if a man asks you how about Shemuel for something, but he don't really believe it, how should his prayers, how do he think his prayers are going to be answered then? You know what I'm saying? Look, they're not, man. They're not, man. You know? You got to pray for more reading. 
You know what I'm saying? You know, more research, more courage, all that, man. All the above, man. You got to pray for it, man. And look, you got to you got to pray in faith, man. Well, 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 yeah, like Big Brother said through the spirit, man, you know? Hey, man, you can't, you can't, you can't be, you can't be <laughs> like the sea, man, you know right. what I'm saying? You can't be doubting y'all by seeing y'all shy, you know? Oh, wishy-washy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You believe, but you don't believe. Right. Come on, man, you serious? Which one, look, bro, which one is it? Know, look, right? which one is it? You, you either believe, believe or you don't. don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What it say? Let your yay be yay and your nay be nay? Yep, that's right. This is on um, St. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Ask. Yep. Look, bro, ask. Yep. Beg. Ask, man. Right. Oh, gosh. Now yeah, what you're going to say, ask, meaning beg. You know what I'm saying? Pray. And it's written in red, so it's Lord Yahweh shall speaking. Ask, and it shall be given you. Yeah, that's right, man. We ask for what? Asking for spiritual things, man. Right. More wisdom and knowledge to understand the scriptures. The more I put the spirit in you, the fast more. Right. You know what I'm saying? Pray more. Yeah. Have more faith. You know what I'm saying? Ask in the names of your heart. Right. You took the you know, words out of my mouth. Not, 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 not big man in the sky. Like right. You know right. Not God. Not Jesus Christ. Not right. Not Baptist priestess. Right. That's another thing, man. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man. That's, That's it. right. Right. Because when it's because when they say ask. Yeah, because when it say ask right there in that scripture, it's telling you to ask somebody. You got to yeah. know who to ask, you know what I'm saying? For the knowledge. Who can really give you the knowledge with understanding of the scriptures, man? Only two entities right. that can do that, man. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. That's it, man. Buddha can't do it. Allah can't do it. Santa Maria yeah. can't do it. The Hindu god of Shiva can't do it. None of the Kemet gods can do it. Only Yahweh Bashim Shai can give you what you pray for, man. That's it, man. Right. You know? Right. Look, look, righteous things anyway. Yep, now the right. spiritual demon say he can give you a record deal. But look though, you got to bend over though, bro. You gotta do right. something wicked. When you pray to the spiritual demon Satan, you gotta do something wicked, bro, to receive anything from him. Right. Look, when you ask anything of Yahweh by Shimel Shai, you just gotta keep it um keep it real and do righteous acts. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Which is far more better, bro. Right. It's good. It says, and ye shall, look, I'm going to read it again. St. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Ask, and ye, and it shall be given you. Mm -hmm. Seek, and ye shall find. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Then that description says, seek the Lord while he may be found, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So seek, man. Pray, pray, man. Pray. Like, if you're not already on the house with the head, this man, you look up for him, and you're seeking the Lord, man. Hey, pray for it, man. Right. And yeah, pray that the Lord will uh, put you in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? You know? And that word seek means to look for. Yep, look for, attempt to find. Right, to, know, to search know. out. Yeah, search out, you know? Matter of fact, I'm going to get it right quick. Yo, come, come. Yeah, man, you got you to you you have faith in your advice, you know what I'm man. Like James, the first chapter says, man, you can't be wavering, doubting, you know what I'm saying? Believing in the Lord and not believing in the Lord. No, you can't do that, man. You know? That's right. Oh, yeah. The, um, the definition for the word seek. I'm going to read that, that last part again. St. Matthew right. chapter 7, verse 7. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and the definition for the word seek is a verb. Attempt to find something. Right. Attempt to find the Lord, man. Right. You know? By what? By praying and having faith in the name of the Yah, by Shem Yah Shai. That's right. You know? That's like, that's like, you know what I'm saying, you know? You seek the Lord through His men. Right. You know, so the Lord's gonna, gonna uh, give you His men that you've been asking for. You know, so that you've been trying to seek for. Right. You know, and it's gonna give it to you. That's right. You know? It says, um, search for, try to find, look for, be on the lookout for, be out the hunt for, be in quest of. Like you're searching for gold, you're searching for treasure. You see the pirates, they're hopping on boats, you know what I'm saying? And they go out looking for treasure and all that, meaning they're seeking, they're looking. This is how we're supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to the words of the Lord and finding the men of the Lord. You know? It says, um, obtain, look, attempt or desire to obtain or, or achieve something. You know? Look, ask for, look, bro, ask for, you know what I'm saying? Look, to ask for something, right? A little a request. Right. Look, look, bro. 
beg for. That's what, that's what, look, so that let you know right there, you know what I'm saying? It all goes back to prayer. Because the word pray means to beg, right? right. You're asking your how about Shemiah Shah for something when you're praying, right? Yeah. Right? It says ask for something or, or from someone. Right. Asking for something from someone. Who is that someone? You how about Shemiah Shah, bro? It says, right. it's the breast, look, bro, request. Make your request known, right? I just did a lesson on that, man, on prayer, man. And the scripture says that, bro. Make your request known to your high by Shem Shah, man. Whatever you want from your high by Shem Shah, you got to let it be known, man. Yeah, of course, your high by Shem Shah, they can read our thoughts and all that, but the Lord like to hear it, though, man. Like you right. can think, you can think about the name of the Lord, your high by Shem Shah, in your head, but the Lord want want to hear you call, actually call on His name, right? Right. That's just like when we ask for something, the God of the Bible want to actually hear us say the words, bro. Not just right. think about it. They want to hear us say it, bro. Right. It's just like uh, somebody, you know what I'm saying, in the world, man, you know. And they, you know that they want something, a specific thing, but you want them to ask. For right. Them, you know? Right. You're not just going to volunteer to give it to them all the time. Right. You know? The, you wonderful want point. To ask for them, you know? Wonderful point, bro. Hey, look, look, bro, um, look, beg for. Beg, hey, pray. Right. Goes back to the word pray, man. Yep. Pray for more you know, wisdom and knowledge and understanding these scriptures and spiritual righteous things, you know. That's right. T.I. by you know, shot, you know. That's right, bro. Look, petition, you know what I'm saying, which goes back to prayer. You know what I'm saying, request. Yep. Oh, look, look, bro, put in for. You you got, see, get, what that say? Um, put in for. Hey, put in that word. Like, like, if, word. You, if you want your prayers to be heard, you got to put it in. Put like, in like, when you, like, you're at your job, you know what I'm saying? You want the manager or the owner of the building to know what you're asking for. You got to put it in. You got to write it down. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got to put it in. Like you said, nobody don't know what you want until you open your mouth and ask for it and let them know, man. That's right. And after that, comes the work, man. Right. You know? Put it in. You let it be known. All right. Now you know. Now go do the work. Right. And you're going and look, you're gonna receive whatever your request was. That's right. So going right back to St. Matthew 7 and 7, we'll read that again. Virgin want eight too, right? Uh okay. or you just seven. Just seven, right? Yeah, come on, yeah, yeah. So St. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Ask, and it shall be given you. Right. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Right, man, you know, hey, pretty much. The scripture's going through the same thing, you know? Right. You gotta ask, but you, you, gotta, you gotta open your mouth to y'all by Shema Shah by praying and having faith. Right. Man. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna get it, man. That's right. You know? So you wonder so you wonder why you don't receive more knowledge, wisdom, understanding the scriptures, because you ain't asking for it in faith. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? You know, you wonder why you ain't praying as much as you should, because you ain't asking for it in right. faith. You know what I'm saying? You wonder why you ain't showing more brotherly love? Because you ain't asking for it in faith. You ain't praying for it in faith, man. Right. The Lord said you ask anything in my name, I'm going to do it for you, man. I'm going to do it for you. I'm going to do something. You know what I'm saying, bro? Right. And the Lord isn't a man that he should lie, man. Right. So asking for something in sincerity and in truth, man, the Lord is going to give it to you, man. Right. You know? You know? That's right, bro. That's, that's right. I got that scripture for you. This is Numbers chapter 13, Numbers chapter 23, verse 19. The Most High is not a man that he shall lie. Right, so the Lord, y'all must shine like Big Brother said, man. It's not like Esau, man. Right. Esau tell you something and then he lies, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or he'll abuse you and then he lies. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Y'all must shine is straight forward, man. That's right. He lie, he's not going to lie, you know? Right. So if you have y'all must shine specifically, man, that's what you need to do, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is going to give it to you. Yeah. Man. You know? Yep. It says, um, the most high is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? So, right, you have much. Go ahead, bro. No, that's all you that's all you think, bro. Now, I was just going to say, the most high said, yo, you pray to me, you ask in faith, I'm going to give it to you. What are you going to lie about, man? Look, man, they're supreme powers, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. There ain't no need for them to lie. No, so they created everything. What are they going to lie about, man? 
The most high is not a man that he should lie, man. He gonna make good on he gonna make good on all his promises, man. We just gotta have faith in it. We just gotta have faith in it. When you pray for um to be more more wise than serpent homes and doves, you gotta do it in faith, man. You know? Right. You wanna be more spiritual and carnal? You you praying for that? You gotta pray in faith, man. And, and, right. gonna, and look, and he's gonna make it happen, man. And you right. and you and you gonna know it. You gonna know it. Because look, what it, what, what it look like? Uh, like, uh, like you work up the Esau, right? You have faith that he gonna give you that check, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? What, what it look like? You not having faith in your high you know, shot what you asking for? Right. You know what I'm saying? You gonna, you gonna look kind of crazy, man. Right. Because you have more faith in Esau than the Lord, man. That's right. You know. You know, you, you know, you have the faith. You know, say you know that you have the faith that Esau's gonna give you your check, give you your money. Right. So know that the Lord is gonna give you what he ate. What you asking for, man? Plus, Even more though. Plus, bro, we just read in Hebrews 11 and 6 that he's a rewarder of them that exactly. diligently seek him. So he's all going to yeah. reward you for whatever your requests are, man. Not only, right. not only a spiritual request, don't be right. asking the Lord for some old nonsense, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know. What else you have, bro? Right. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah, I was going to say the same right. thing. No, don't ask the Lord for a big booty chick and all this other nonsense, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. Uh, you got Matthew 21 and 22. St. Matthew chapter 21. Shalakia. St. Matthew chapter 21 verse 22. All things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. All things, man. Anything that's spiritual and righteous that you're asking for, man. In the name of God, by Shia and Shia. You ask in prayer, have the faith for that prayer, you know what I'm saying? And you're going to receive it, man. Right. Believe it. Have the hope, man. That's right. You know? Go on in the back of your mind that your eyebrows should not shot is going to give you what you're praying for, man. That's right. You know? On this time. You know what I'm saying? You know? You might have to, you know what I'm saying? Like, pray some more, man. Right. Pray more, man. That's yep. word. And then have patience, you know? man. And then have patience yeah. in the Lord. Have patience in the Lord, man. You gotta wait sometimes, man. It's coming, though. <laughs> you know, it's coming. Like, like, um, if you need help breaking down a scripture or whatever, pray to your how about Shimon Shah for the understanding of it. Eventually, one of his servants gonna make a video on it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And you're like, yo, there it is, right there. The Lord, like, yo, you you wanted the answer? Here it is, right here. I'm answering your right. prayers like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna read that. I'm gonna read that again, bro. Saint Matthew chapter right. twenty-one, verse twenty-two. And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. Right, man. Anything that you ask in the name of your high by shine, you know, it's pertaining to righteousness, man. You're going to receive it, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you have the faith, you doing what you're doing to serve, serve the Lord. You know what I'm saying? You know. Being righteous in the eyes of the Lord, man, you're gonna receive what you're asking for, man. Right. Because you're asking in sincerity, man, you know. You really, really want it. You know? You're gonna receive it. Yep. But you gotta have faith in it though, man. Right. You gotta have faith. That's that's the number one ingredient, bro. That's yeah. that's one of the number one ingredients. Fear, faith, you know what I'm saying? Love, which is keeping the commandments of the Bible. You gotta have those ingredients, man. You know? Belief, which is it, which is faith, you know? Yeah, that was, a, that was a nice scripture right there. That was a beautiful right there. What else, bro? Let me see. Uh, we'll probably bring out two more. We'll probably bring out two more and then we'll wrap it up. Yeah, but yeah, man. Hey, look, when we pray to Yahweh about Shimei Shot, we must believe, and you got to believe, that he's going to answer your prayers, man. That faith got to kick in, man. Cause that's how a whole lot of guys fall out of the truth, bro. They pray, but they don't really believe their prayers are gonna get answered, man. Then it's then it's taking them longer than they expect for their prayers to get answered. They say no. They say the hell with it, bro. They go back into the world, right? right. Not not having faith, having that doubt demon on them, bro. Right. Uh, that's shot Saint John fifteen and seven. This Saint John chapter fifteen, verse seven. And it reads, yeah, Saint, and it's written in red, Lord Yahweh Shai, St. John chapter 15, verse 7. If ye abide in me, and, and 
and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. All right, man. So if you're doing your Abba Shema shot, telling you to do, man, you know, you ask anything of your Abba Shema shot in faith, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's going to be given unto right. you, man. You know, doing right. the right things, reading, praying, fasting more. Right. Whatever you got to do to be close to your Abba Shema shot, man, it's going to be done to unto you, man. Right. You know, in, in due time. Right. You, know, you got to have faith in the Lord, man. Right. This is this time, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, we messed up, man. Right. We didn't mess up. We messed up. That's right. You know? So, we on his time. Right. You know? Just like just like if you put the child on time out, that, that, kid, that kid can't come out the corner whenever he feel like it, man. Right. When you want him to feel like it, he gonna come out the corner whenever you tell him. That's to right. That point. So, that's the same thing when you all by Shingon Shot, man. Right. When the Lord feel like you're ready to get the breakdown or whatever that you're asking, you all by Shingon Shot is gonna give it to you yeah. in his time. Yeah, because sometimes you can pray for something that you ain't even ready for yet. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And it could destroy you. You know what I'm saying? So you have about Shemar Shai waits till he builds you up on certain levels to be able to receive that request and that prayer. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm going to read it again. St. John chapter 15, verse 7. If ye abide in me, meaning you continue to follow your how about Shemar Shai, you don't stray right. away. Look, and my words... You know what I'm saying? Which the words of the Lord is this Bible, not the Quran, not the Book of the Dead, not the Egyptian Book of um, the Dead, not the Kemet Gods, the Kemet books and all the other nonsense, not the Book of the Mormons. That's not the word of the Lord. This Bible is, right? These are the words of the Lord, right? Ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. And, that, and that's heavy right there, man. And these scriptures are plain, these scriptures are plain but they're heavy, man. Heavy hitters, man. So most definitely, you got to have faith in what you pray for, man. It's the name of the lesson. It's a beautiful yeah, title, too. What else, bro? Let's see. We, let's see. We can get one more. We can get uh, St. John 14 and uh, 13 to 14. 13 to 14? Yeah. Yeah, which we read 14 already anyway, but we'll read it again. Yeah. yeah, remember we read St. John 14 and 14? Oh, yeah, we can, we can read that again. Yeah, we can read it again. Of course we can read it again. You know what I'm saying? And then we're going to read, yeah. we're going to close it off with, um, um, what is it, um, Romans 15 and 4. We're, we'll read that one again. It's all about repetitiveness. Or we can finish it off with uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17. Pray without ceasing? Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll read both of those. God. This St. John chapter 14, verse 13. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name. Uh oh, see, they got the name again. Right. Yahweh Shem Yahweh This is what Yahweh Shah speaking, man. Right. Written in red. That's it's right. Like the, his name, man. That's right. Yahweh Shai. That's not right. Jesus Christ. Right. Because they're not, whatever these people had to call him, man, is Lord Yahweh Shai. Right. You know? That's his name. That's right. That will I do. Right, man. See, hey. You're asking for spiritual things, man. You're asking y'all in the name of your Howard by Shimon Right. He's going to do it. Right? That's He's right. He's not a liar. Right. You know? He's going to do it. That's right. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. Right. You got that one, Look, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Because that's how you glorify the Heavenly Father through His Son, man. That's why we say, right. Ka halal, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, man. We praise right. the Heavenly Father through the name of His only begotten Son, man. That's the, that's the way you got to do it. Lord, Yahweh Shai just told you, man, how you praise the Heavenly Father. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Through the name of His only begotten Son, man. And He's going to do it to you, man. He's going to do it right. for you, man. You know? Verse 14. That's, that's a heavy scripture. Verse 14. St. John chapter right. 14, verse 14. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. And this is Lord, Yahweh Shai speaking again. If he asks anything righteousness anyway in his name, right? How about Shai? He's going to do it, man. Right. You know, he's going to do it. That's he has right. That faith that he's going to do it, man. That's right. You know? No matter how much, no matter how much time it takes, man, you always have to believe that he's going to do what you what, what you're asking, man. Right. You know? Right. You know? Right. This is um. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. 
Pray without ceasing. Right, man, which means pray continually, man. Right. Pray continually to your Habash and Yashah always, man. Every day right. that you go, all the time. Right. Pray it, pray it, pray it, pray it, pray it, man. You know? Because that's how we communicate with your Habash and Yashah through that's right. prayer. Yep. You know? So pray without ceasing, man. Don't stop praying to your Habash and Yashah. Especially right. in the times that we're living in. Right. You know? You got to keep praying, 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 praying. Right. Like the apostle recall always go into, man. Prayer, man. Yep. Always. Because I just you know, did a video. Never, never, I just. Now, go ahead, finish what you're going to say, bro. I was like, no, I was like, never stop. Which, you know, never cease, which means stop, man. Okay. You know? Every mm -hmm. year. That's right. I was just going to say, you know, so I just did a video through the Spirit of the Hour by Shemiel Shai called, um, If You're Not Praying, You Better Start. You know what I'm saying? So that, that, that praying without ceasing, man. Look, you can't never get to the point throughout a day to you where you can say to yourself, I, I prayed enough today. I'm good for the day. Hell no, man. Hell no. You going on? You always need something, man. You, don't be in that type of spirit to where you felt like you didn't prayed enough for the day. That's crazy right there, bro. I know, right? Verse, um, I'm going to read 17 and 18. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. One more time. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of Yahweh and Hamashiach concerning you. So you gotta you gotta give thanks for everything that the God of the Bible has blessed you with. You know what I'm saying? Right. No matter what it is, right. you gotta give thanks, man. If it's a, if it's a little small room and house, a little roof over your head, be thankful for that. Uh, look, a job that ain't really paying you nothing, be thankful for that. You know what I'm saying? Right. The air you breathe, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, most definitely the names. Be thankful, man. You know, right. give thanks for everything, right. man, that you have been allowed to receive. Because the God of the Bible didn't have to give you nothing. Right. The Lord right. didn't have to give us nothing, bro. The Lord didn't have to give right. us this word back, man. It's of His right. will that we receive this word right now, man. We're breaking it down, man. Right. You know? Right. And it's something that you got to continually pray for, man. You want you got to pray for your knowledge to increase, man. You know? That's right. That's real, man. You know, like Big Brother was saying through the Spirit by Yahweh by Shema and Shaman, the Lord didn't have to give us, a, give us nothing, man. Right. You know, he could have, he could have let us, he could have, he could have, you know what I'm saying, kept us where we was at, man. Right. We're probably in a winter state. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yahweh by Shema didn't have to give us anything, man. Right. We disobeyed him. You That's know? right. We, we forsook him. That's right. You know? Man, come on, man. Shoot, in Ezra's, um, the ninth chapter, 13th verse, the scriptures tell you, um, he punished us less than what our iniquities deserved. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Wicked as we was, man, on this side and in our former life, man, wicked as hell, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. So the Lord punished us less than what our iniquities deserved, man. You know what I'm saying? We should have been totally consumed, but the Lord is bound by his word, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. The Lord is bound by his word, bro. That's right. That's right. It's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing, bro. Because if not, we That's wouldn't right. be sitting here right now, man. You know? That's right. We wouldn't be sitting right here doing this lesson, man. We would right. be somewhere through, bro. <laughs> we would be somewhere through, right? T-H-R-U-U-U-U-U-U-U. You know what I'm saying? Right. Jeffrey Osborne, can you get through, through, through? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> be done, yo. But this is the last one, though. Uh, Romans chapter 15, verse 4, once again. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Right, man. So the scriptures, man, anything that was written, you know what I'm saying, before our time, man, you know, was written for our learning. This scripture's right here, man. Right. It's King James Holy Bible, man, 1611. Right. It was written for our learning, man. Of what to do today and what did not to do, man. Right. You know? And what we got to do right. is do the work of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Right. Yahweh and pray to Yahweh by Shem in faith. Yep. You know, we got we got we got to constantly keep serving our by Shimei man. That's and right. What it says in the scriptures. You know. Yeah, faith. Like like right about now, they're trying to um, you know, you know, saying you know the Edomites, they got this black identity extremist nonsense coming out. We got to have faith in Yahweh by Shimei that we're gonna be delivered from all that, man. Right. Even right. though we're even though they gonna they gonna try to humiliate us in front of the public's eye. We got to still right. keep our faith and our composure and you have a bunch of shot to know that he's going to deliver us from all this nonsense. No matter how right. rough it get. Hold on. Uh, hey, hey, that's a great point that you made, man. Uh, big bro, because hey, Louis, I wish I had to go through it. Yep. You know, it's, yep. it's not that. It's because it says the service is not greater than his Lord, man. Right. 
That's right. You know what I'm saying? Especially if he went through it, we yeah. gonna go through it, man. Yep, that's right. But we, but we gotta have faith in Yahweh, she must shy or hold on and yep. it's good, man. That's right. And have faith, you know? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta see the bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to see the bigger picture. Yeah, they're going to try to persecute us. Yeah, they're going to lie on us and all that. But right after that, the Lord going to pop up on the scene. Yeah. Right after all that right there, once they start taking us through prayer hell, you got to know, you got to have the faith in the God of the Bible. You have about Shemel to know that they on their way, man. As soon, right. soon as Esau make his move, the Lord said he's going to make his move, man. He's going to show his hand, right. bro. Right. So you got to have faith in that, man. That's right. And that was written for our learning, bro. That's right. That we through patience and look, look, like what's going to other bro. When you pray to your house by Shemel Shah, you gotta have patience, man. You gotta yeah. wait on it, man. Sometimes you gotta wait on your prayers to get answered, man. You yeah. know? The Lord want, the Lord really wanna see do you truly believe in him, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cause if you truly believe in the Lord, when you pray to him, you're gonna wait for him to answer your prayers, man. You ain't gonna get mad because it don't happen overnight. Or it might be a week from now, it might be a year from now, but eventually that prayer is gonna get answered, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, um, you know, hey, we gotta get on his nerves, man. Right. You know? Yep. We gotta constantly keep praying, 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 praying. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Just like a child had a story on his mom, man. Yep. The, the, the mom might say no, that he can't get something, but if he keep asking and asking and right. asking and asking and asking, eventually she's gonna give up and give it to him. Right. Because he's begging his ass off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, all right, fine. You really, really want it. Right. Fine. If it means that much to you, yeah. I'm going to give it to you. Right. Here you go. You know what I'm saying? And that's how the Lord is with us, man. That's that, right. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. See, what, hey, big bro, what, what did it say? Through, through the scriptures? Right. Through comfort of the scriptures. The scriptures. Through the scriptures, <laughs> might have scriptures. hope. Through the scriptures, yeah. might have hope. That we, Dude, through patience... That's the Quran, that's right. the book of the dead, not these other books, man. Right. The scriptures, the man. Scriptures. The scriptures. The Bible, man. Hold up, your, you know hold up your scriptures, bro. Right there. Right. Right. There. right. right. King James 16, that's my only Bible, man. That's what we have hope and comfort in, man. Right. You know? Because this is the comfort, man. Right. You know? So that's we right. have this little comfort you know what I'm saying? We have hope in the scriptures, man. Right. What nobody, what nobody says, man. You know? Whatever. Right. Like you always going to people, what are they here? Or what are they for? They right. Here? Because these people ain't got to believe in what we believe in. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got to come on, man. The Lord gave us the, uh, the spirit of faith, man. He gave us that right. gift, man. You know what I'm saying? Which faith is a gift, Ephesians. You know what I'm saying? You know, they, they can right. look it up. They can look it up, man. Hey, it is what it is, man. Have faith in what you pray for, brethren. You know? Shit, I mean, you got any closing statements, bro? Yeah, man. Hey, have faith in your advice. You know, I shall hold on. Keep it during. You know what I'm saying? We almost at the end of this thing. They about to roll it on us real soon. And the Lord's coming back. Right. So, so have faith in what you're praying for, man. Always believe in the names of your how about you know, shall appear in those names. Man. Right. And keep Keep doing what you're doing to the best of your ability and righteousness, man. Right. Hey, look, have, have faith that in your house by Shemel Shah that they, they're going to deliver you when all hell right. breaks loose. Look, you better right. have faith. Your faith might not be wavering in that time. I know, right? Your, your faith might not be wavering when Esau rolled on you. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what they right. do to you. Have faith in your house by Shemel Shah, man. Look at our Meshach, Abednego, and Shamrak in the fiery furnace. They had faith in your house right. by Shemel Shah. They got thrown in a furnace and was protected, bro. Yep. Daniel in the lion's den. All the prophets of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Noah had faith in your house by Shemel Shah, and he was delivered from the flood, man. Right. You know? Yep. So, so Moses had faith in your house by Shemel Shah, and he was, he was delivered from Pharaoh, man. Right. So we got to come in the same like manner, man. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, bro. You can close us out, man. Yeah, hey, man. With that, hey, a little bit of this video is for you. I can hear this watching with the spirit. Before we close out, we want to give all honor and glory and praises unto the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. And next up, we have honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone, who still brought into the eyes of the Bible and feed us with 100% truth, according to the Bible and the rule of That's right. And peace and peace to the Akins out there who is pushing the truth from the four corners of the earth with yep. righteousness and in sincerity to the best of their abilities. 
in the names of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushua. Right. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.